What's up guys? Your boy GD Warrior here. So I took this beast out for my first breaking ride. And uh it's basically a hard breaking. That means you know you're gonna get the engine warmed up obviously first, very crucial. And when you start riding, you don't wanna go too easy, but you don't wanna baby it either, you know. So um what you do is you know you you rev it up obviously not until red line but like say like let's say 3500 uh, rpms and then you engine brake you know you do this in like fourth gear third gear you know fifth gear that's how i did it and um you do this over like the first you know 20 minutes 30 minutes and then you're going to um cool down the bike for not all the way down you know but give it like 20 to 30 minutes so what I did like after that after I knew um, I had my first 20 to 30 minutes uh, braking period time hard braking um, you know accomplished I went to fucking Chipotle I ordered myself a burrito I had to sta stand in line and then I had to eat it so you know that was a good 25 minutes after I was out of there and then um, you know you go on your next ride and on your next ride, you give it a little bit more, you know, like 3,800 uh, RPMs, uh, 4,000 RPMs, and engine braking, you know. So you want to build the compression and stuff. And uh, that's how I've been doing it now. Guys, so the stock ECU is back in, and I got a map, a temporary map from Patrick Racing for braking purposes, okay. And I'm telling you guys it's wicked man i mean um no when, when there is no popping there is no backfiring nothing i tried really hard to um make the bike backfire you know when it was uh when it got heated up and um <clears throat> it did it only once and it was just a small little boop like a fucking fart okay the bike farted that that's that's how the backfire was it was it wasn't even serious and there is no popping no nothing it's totally smooth um stock ECU you know um you know you want to stay away from the Ivan ECU when you go at big ball with the camps and all that shit so um great I love it bike runs nice um I do have a little um I, I noticed the the idle goes sometimes up and down you know so I guess maybe I gotta play with the vacuum lines over there but um, there is no check engine lights, there is no oil dripping anywhere. So uh, I'm really, really, really happy. And um, here, let's fire it up. I had to adjust the idle a few times, you know, a little bit down because after the engine got heated up, um, the idle went up. So, you know, I stopped, adjusted the idle and kept going. So uh, before it starts raining, um, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna um, do the same thing. You know, rev it up a little higher this time, like 75%, like around 3,700, uh, 3,800 RPMs, and engine braking, you know, and stuff like that. So um, you don't want to lock the engine or anything like that. But all in all, I'm happy. So um, I can definitely feel a performance gain. But the bike is not tuned yet, so I'm pretty sure with the 2 into one exhaust and a tune, that's when I get the real freaking power out. So uh, I'm gonna ride home now, I'm gonna do the same braking process and then I'm gonna, you know, park it in my garage and um, baby it. And, you know, from then on, uh, I'm gonna keep it, keep it just at a regular, you know, at a regular braking process. Um, the first uh, few miles or minutes, whatever, are crucial to seal the rings and that was the most important part to me the rest will be you know i won't fucking go 4500 uh, rpms or so until red line and then shift you know i won't race until i hit like five six hundred miles and then i'm going to uh and then i'm going to change the oil out and see you know i most likely will stick with yama loop it's a great oil and uh bike is not running too hot with 210 so there is no problem and anyway so uh Thanks guys for um, watching, comment below and I'm gonna go uh, break the rest of the bike. So I see you guys then. It's your boy GD Warrior and don't forget, don't fucking die.